you'll be okay Don't stay looking out the window And how late do you plan on going nowhere? Afraid of all the things you don't know There's so many reasons <laughs> Hey, how's it going guys? So yes, I'm eating McFlurry at 12 a.m. and loving life because it's officially summer. I love ice cream. I deserve it. And I mean, it's freaking summer, so why not? While late night ice cream runs are literally the best part of this time of year, other parts of summer include things like beaches and bikinis, hot sweaty weather, and typically me feeling too big in my own skin. I get so many comments and messages and DMs from you guys and even just my friends so often complaining about how they don't know how to be okay with their bodies this summer. How to feel good the way they are because either every pair of shorts is a little bit too tight, every piece of clothing looks just a little bit wrong, or there are just too many expectations and too many ideals, too many sizes and rights and wrongs and numbers to fit into and clothes and people that we've grown out of and hateful comments about our bodies and when that's what summer oh comes God. with. Such a good afternoon snack. It's 10. How's a girl supposed to sit back and enjoy her McFlurry in her tank top and short shorts? Well, the thing is, I feel the same way most summers and honestly most seasons. <laughs> The truth is, well, I'm always all for you doing you. Buy new clothes, eat more, eat less, boob jobs, manicures, or just flaunting what you've got. Nice, nice. Do the things that make you feel like the prettiest, sexiest, or most confident person, but keep in mind we all need and do things differently to feel our best. And this video is just a little inside scoop of my summer mindset filled with inspiring quotes, lessons learned throughout my short life, and just too many thoughts about ice cream smoothie bowls and summer treats. One more. So when I move my body, whether it's aggressive panting and sweating and pain or a yoga flow or just walking Milo, every time it helps remind me of how incredible my body is and that it doesn't deserve to be treated as if it's not worth my time or judged based on what other people think my body should look like. Moving my body simply just helps me feel good about myself. Exercise doesn't have to be about weight loss or toning up or burning fuel. It can be just about feeling good. It should be about health in whatever way that means to you. It should be about celebrating you and your body as we should be celebrating it every day. Ooh, okay. Do you want to try fire noodle? Oh. So I challenge you to try a new way of moving your body this summer. Fire noodle? Mm. Crazy! She's got a fire noodle! When you challenge your body to do something new, something like outside your comfort zone, you get to see your body in a new light by being uncomfortable for a little bit. You get to really appreciate what your body is capable of and it's usually capable of more than you think. Oh, oh my god, it looks so good! Ready? Been ready. Mmm! 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 It's actually good. It hasn't hit me yet. He wants me to cry, but I'm so strong. Mm. You're taking it like a champ. It sucks. It really does when you realize your favorite denim shorts no longer fit you perfectly. It sucks when that dress you felt so confident in last year now makes you feel like a failure. Who knew clothing could do this? Mixed with the heat and the sweat and the bloating and chafing, wearing clothes can become your worst nightmare. Yeah, I know that feeling. I felt it this morning, probably 10 minutes ago too, but I realized there's no point in living your life and ruining your entire beautiful summer day getting caught up in a reflection in a pair of shorts. All bodies can wear any clothes, can wear anything they wish. All bodies are good and beautiful and I wish I could remind you of this every single day. So every time you're second guessing your outfit or that piece of cake you ate or whether or not your body's good enough for that tank top, I wanna remind you, you look freaking amazing. And don't forget to just enjoy yourself. 
you only see me wearing sports bras, leggings, and baggy pajamas in every video, I actually do uh, surprisingly enjoy wearing real clothes. It's actually probably one of my favorite things to do. Wearing cute clothes, buying cute clothes, buying too many clothes, if I'm going to be completely honest. So that is why I'm very, very, very excited for this little haul I'm about to show you guys. Featuring the sponsor of today's video, Princess Polly. Everything I'm wearing and showing you guys and hauling today will be from Princess Polly. They've actually given me a discount code to give to you guys so you can use Sun20 for 20% off your entire purchase. All of Princess Polly's clothes ships directly from the United States and there is free express shipping to the US on orders over $50 and they also offer afterpay to all US customers. I'm not kidding when I say I actually have been neglecting all the other clothes in my closet because I seriously don't want to wear or need anything else other than the stuff I'm about to show you guys. First, these freaking jeans. It's actually weird that I'm not wearing these right now because I have not taken these off. These are more comfortable than my pajamas. They're more comfortable than my leggings. I seriously sleep in these. It's honestly kind of scary how much these jeans speak to me. We've just built a connection. I don't know. So if you're in the market for some baggy jeans. A classic white tank. You can't really go wrong whenever I'm feeling, you know, Cute. I'll wear these with the jeans and just make everything just Cute. I'm pairing it with a beautiful gold necklace. These necklaces, I swear I've been looking for forever, but I'm not about the rusting and like the weird smell that comes with the rusting when you buy cheaper necklaces. But this necklace is 18 karat gold plated and I basically wear it out every day. I work out in it, which means I aggressively sweat in this and there are no problems and the smell, still great. These shorts, okay, so comfortable, so breezy, so summery. I can eat endless amounts of food and it's not constricting, one of my go-tos. You know, denim shorts and I, we've had a love-hate relationship, but these shorts are just too cute and too comfortable for their own good. And the little rip in the front, like come on, no complaints. And then I got the sweater, which I think every single person that shops on Princess Polly owns. And for good reason, because it's so freaking soft and cozy and, and I, I, yeah. It's just the sweater, you know? You can't really go wrong with a big baggy tee in the summer. You just can't. I'm planning on wearing this one to death, so. Well, this is just a little bit out of my comfort zone. It's actually, no, it's, it's like super, super out of my comfort zone, but it makes me feel confident and kind of like, Badass. So yeah, I got two colors. It's like a fake it till you make it mentality. Remember, it's good to step out of your comfort zone. And then we got this cute little plaid shirt, you know, wear by the fire, by the beach, at nighttime, whenever you feel like it. And then I got this cute little white skirt for when, you know, I'm trying to feel cute little white skirt vibes. The slit really just... Long sleeve crop top. I've been seeing everywhere and it's just... Obviously, I can't not buy this. Obviously, I can't not. So as you can tell, I'm a very happy human right now. And I'm feeling good and confident and kind of cute. And I'm not complaining. So thank you, Princess Polly, for that happiness and confidence boost that I really needed. I know people say clothes aren't a real fix to our problems, but for me, I love finding the cutest clothes that make me feel good and confident and comfortable and accentuate the parts of me that I'm proud of and I want to show off for me. That makes me feel good for me. And that is more than just a piece of fabric that covers me up. It hides my insecurities. It builds me up and it makes me more me. Guys, you gotta just wear clothes that make you feel good in your own skin. Don't change yourself so that you can look good in those clothes. Those clothes aren't worth it. You know, you're the only one in the end deciding what size and lifestyle and body makes you happy. But just know, you can decide that. You can change, or you can embrace the newness in your life. You can be happy at any size, seriously. And you can wear whatever the heck makes you happy. Is it okay? It's so good. Mmm, it's good. It's good. Mmm. Mm. Yay. Mmm. Where do you feel like the difference between two pastures? I think if I were to describe like the nose pad, it's a bit more like shinier. Uh, so don't let anyone, not even yourself, make you feel less for wanting to be oh, extra or wear less or only wear neon or the color green every day. But also, it's, it's so important so to respect good. the way you feel. You still gotta respect yourself even when you're pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, even when you're trying to change and grow. Meet yourself where you're at. If you don't want to show your arms or belly, then you're not a failure for that. Just be okay and accepting of where you're at. I know, I know, I'm pretty boring. I eat the same foods, I love ice cream and fresh food and smoothie bowls, and yes, Linda, we know. Oatmeal, you all have to tell them again. But this is just me being honest with you guys and being honest with my body because eating these meals, they make my body feel alive. And that feeling is something we all need. Feeling alive to me, full of energy, ready to take on the day. I need to be fueling my body right. Fueling my body to really live life fully. For example, eating spicy ramen killed me, and I guess you could say it made my mouth feel really, really alive. And yeah, it may lack some nutritional value 
food compared to other meals, but you know, sometimes it's about how you measure what it means to be healthy. And how you define a lie. Because I'd say that experiences like spicy ramen challenges and, and going out for bubble tea and ordering way too much Chinese food are activities abundantly full of life and memories and stories. And that's also what fuels my life. A different kind of nutrition, a different kind of alive. Smoothie bowls and veggies make my body feel good, yes, but french fries and kimchi pancakes can do the same thing in a different way. And that's where I've been and how I've been seeing food and I've never felt Oh my more god. Life. So I used to think that being healthy and looking healthy were actually the same thing and I think that's where my downfall was because they're completely exclusive things. For most of my life I was only focused on looking healthy, whatever that meant, and I do it at the expense of my actual health. Oh my god! <laughs> the more I tried to look healthy, the more I exercised and dieted in extreme and unhealthy ways and obsessed and gave up other parts of my life that I loved and didn't have the motivation to continue because my body was literally telling me, hey Linda. I rate 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I love. This is not right or fun or sustainable. Hunger is not what I want. Being miserable and giving up summer ice cream, mm, man, so that's good. not how I want to oh live. You don't have to stop. We will be Don't continue. Stop doing the Okay, move away. Come on, move away. Okay. Okay. Move away. Okay, move away. Now I know that I actually feel most confident and beautiful when I'm healthy and happy, which is when I'm not constantly worried about my appearance and dieting and hating myself, but instead spending time with friends, eating bowls of chips, swimming without another care, laughing and eating and prioritizing living and being able to see that moments like those, they're considered health too. Now looking back, it's so clear that I can't even look my best if I don't feel my best because I only feel my best when I'm healthy and happy. So you need both and you'll get it. We can choose nourishment over deprivation. We are so focused on being small or eating less, restricting on this, cutting this out, banning these foods. We're always taking away and thinking that that will help us gain more confidence, more attention, more self-love, more health. <sighs> We've learned that less should be more, but isn't it crazy that more can actually be more? So instead of cutting out foods, we can nourish our bodies by adding foods into our diets. Yep, that's right, adding. Summer comes with so many fresh fruits and berries and veggies and legumes and delicious proteins and sushi dates and chicken burgers, and I say yes to all of them. My body knows nothing is off limits, so it doesn't feel deprived in any way. But I do like to take advantage of the fresh summer produce by adding more fresh fruits and veggies into my diet because that's just what the season brings. But that's not going to stop me from going to eat ice cream probably every day too. When I trust my body and my cravings, I feel more confident in myself knowing that I can count on my body and my body can count on me too. Can you taste it with me? No. <laughs> I've been reading and trying to understand love. Not just relationships with others, but loving yourself. Like, what is that meant to be like, you know? Love's not only just a feeling towards someone, towards your body, towards yourself. Love is an action, a manifestation of emotion, a choice, a moment of faith where we decide to be with and for that person no matter what. And that person in this case is ourselves. No matter if you gain weight, if your body changes, if you mess up once or 400 times, no matter how unlovable someone has made you feel you are, no matter how broken your heart is, know that love is not meant to be easy. Mm. The egg is perfect. Okay, I'm trying. We have been told by every movie and fairy tale that everything will just make sense when we meet the right person. That when we finally learn who we are meant to be with, everything will just be so simple and fall right into place. But that's not how real love works. That's not how self-love works. We don't just wake up every morning and love ourselves more than yesterday. We don't always see the worth in trying to improve this love. Sometimes, I don't even think I'm worth it. I don't understand why it has to be so freaking hard all the time. How can I be so imperfect every day? But that's just life, and honestly, that's love too. Real love is complicated and messy and sometimes freaking annoying and it's hard. The relationship we have with ourselves inside our heads the longest and most difficult one yet you have to take action and rethink thoughts and truly feel and try to understand emotion and crazy thoughts and it's continually learning and listening to who someone is who you are and seeing how this someone can fit into your life and you're not always gonna like them but we choose to want to make it work we choose to love Love is seeing your own faults and accepting your past and the grudges you hold against yourself and just believing that you will make the relationship work and that you can find love for yourself regardless of all the pressures and the culture and the hatred you may feel. Oh my, she like, <gasps> some peanut butter? 
I'm so upset right now. Oh, I'm sure there's none left. A rice cracker feast right now. I think love is you choosing you again and again regardless of the things trying to break you down or break you apart regardless of the shame you may feel from eating five slices of cake or the fear of change a lack of trust in yourself or others the what ifs and the shorts on the floor of your closet that no longer fit so no they never said love was easy oh, i overcooked the egg unfortunate but self-love we need to find that because self-love is what will carry you through life, through loving others, through forgiveness and bad days, the relationship with yourself. That relationship is one worth fighting for. Even when life is heavy and all things are too much, and maybe you feel like you made the wrong decision, maybe you feel like you're too big or too small, maybe nothing feels like it's going right, and maybe the right things even feel wrong, maybe trying feels like the hardest thing in the world and loving yourself, whew, no way. But nevertheless, I hope you never give up on this love. Because when your heart aches and your eyes are disappointed at the scale and the words health and happiness have basically lost their meaning and even when you don't understand your body and why bad things happen, why there's so much hate and fear in the world even here and now, no matter what you are feeling, being content, being okay, being happy, and just love is what you are worthy of and never let yourself forget that. A huge part of accepting my body and who I was was being able to forgive myself. Only after I forgave myself could I fully and freely live and be happy while doing that. I was always like, I have to live with my mistakes and the consequences. It's not the same as forgiving someone else, but honestly, it's no different. To be who we are unapologetically and to walk through life confidently as the people we're meant to be, we must forgive ourselves too. Forgiving yourself means allowing yourself to move past the grudges and the anger and the bitterness you hold against yourself the times you think back to and regret and the times you know you're a little bit embarrassed by it's about moving past the mistakes the past that keeps you from being truly happy now confidence is really in how you wear it so good you have to wear it even when it doesn't feel comfortable because only with practice can this confidence become second nature like putting on a pair of shoes you no longer have to wear it your confidence will lead you and begin to carry you through your life. And this confidence will lead you to great places if you're willing to try. You having a birthday. This confidence and forgiveness can free a place in your mind that has been taken up and that has prevented you from reaching your fullest potential. This forgiveness will allow you to love and do the things you love. Fully. Say sushi! Sushi. Sushi. <laughs> Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, go, go, you know, go. the confidence and strength will look different in each and every season of your life. In each new season that life brings, we're different. We grow, we change in ways that maybe we can't explain or haven't noticed, but we can't expect each chapter of our lives to bring the same challenges, the same worries and obstacles. We can't expect that we'll look the same because we've been shaped by our experiences. We are challenged and troubled by life. We are facing our fears. For me, this feeling of confidence is found through my words, my story, knowing the value of my word and how hard I try to be true to who I am. Confidence is knowing I deserve better when I feel empty. Confidence is that feeling after a run when you feel like you can conquer the world. Yeah, confidence is embracing life with all the pain and hate and violence that comes with all it. All the hard moments and breakdowns and trust me, there are still harder days to come. More fears to face, more bad body image days, more impossible days. But I also hope you can find confidence in knowing that there are even more good days coming and that there's time to heal. That there's time to take your time and i hope that can give you the confidence to push through because day after day every new step and breath and decision matters and it'll reveal to you the strength and confidence that has been inside of you all along Thank you, Cindy. Let me eat your birthday gifts. Oh, my back. What part of it hurts? Where you got bit by the tick? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why could I eat this every day? Thank you so much. Um, no. I'm so, I'm so 
Noodle. Oh, this is so good. The limited ketchup that we oh, have. Thank you, Matt. place in my life where I'm so content with the people in my life and the control I sometimes have and the control I usually do not have over most other things. I'm proud of what my body and my brain can do and I'm excited for the changes and the growth that are yet to come. I'm okay with not being loved by everyone because the old me didn't really love me either and that just shows me that love still exists. I'm at a place where the size of my body is no longer a determining factor for my beauty or what I have to offer the world. I realized after years of celebrating my weight loss and my self-control and the amount of food I did or did not eat, I now just celebrate me. Respect your body as it's the only one that you have. Be grateful that it works hard for you even when you're working against it. Be kind and let yourself feel good. By eating certain foods, dancing crazy, skydiving, lifting heavy, I don't know. By surrounding yourself with people that make you love the life you live and the body you live this life in. Celebrate your body and the person your body allows you to be. Celebrate that this body brought you to the people in your life and celebrate the fact that there are so many people that have yet to make an impact on your life. Celebrate the ones who have come in and out of your life. Celebrate love and sweat and the mistakes you've learned from. Celebrate the past and also let it go because what is coming is better than what's gone. And isn't that kind of exciting? So don't forget to celebrate you and all the different versions of you that there will be. Let's celebrate all the love to be experienced and the food and the adventures that are waiting for you. All this life, all of it, will be because of you. So celebrate that. Celebrate you. <laughs>